I'm here in North London with uh, England spinner and Rubicon ambassador Graham Swan, obviously a Sunsport columnist as well. Uh, Swanee, England 2 up in the series. Uh, going great guns. Uh, is the whitewash on? Well, hopefully. Um, you know, going into the series, you obviously you want to win every single test match. And um, the way the first two have gone, the way our bowlers have bowled, especially the seamers, um, you know, if they continue to do that, then uh, hopefully we can win 4-0. Uh, we're certainly not going to... Uh, sit down at edge bus and say, come on, let's whitewash, like whitewash, whatever. It's, um, it's all about winning each game in front of you. It's a tired old cliche, but that's the next game we've got to win. Normal way of holding uh, an off spinner yeah. is to be on, the seam would be on those first two knuckles of those okay. fingers, like that. Yeah. And then you get up and it's supposed to be just like opening a door. So when you bowl, you just turn your hand yeah. and the ball should go out. My own view of that is you can't get enough spin on the ball okay. because you're only going to ever get, you see how much you can actually get there. Whereas if you put that back into your next knuckle, you can flick it and really get some proper fizz out of the ball. It's nice when you get to do more of the bowling. Um, you know, Lords and, uh, and Trent Bridge aren't yeah, particularly spinners wickets as they've turned out to be in the last two tests. So it, uh, it's always nice being on the winning side, but it obviously feels a bit better personally if you've contributed a bit more than uh, just a few overs here or there. I have a way of bowling what's called a square spinner. So it's very simple, instead of holding the scene like that, I just turn the ball, so it's almost like this. And when you bowl, you look to do that with your wrist. Okay. So the ball will then travel down more like a flying saucer than anything else. First and foremost, we've got to turn up at edge passing and win because if we don't, if we lose that game, then uh, the series isn't dead. Because it's wobbling as well. Sometimes it hits the seam and just decides to turn a bit. And that can really mess with the batsman's head because mm -hmm. he thinks, I thought that was a straight one yep. that's turned. Other times it will hit the shiny side and go dead straight on. Um, it's very useful bowling to left-handers because you can obviously skid on into their stumps. If you're going to be a spin bowl, especially if you're a young kid, you should try and spin it as hard as you can. If the ball's been turned a little bit, they start playing slightly outside the line so the ball turns onto the bat and all yep. of a sudden one skids onto the pad. So that's the whole point of it. Um, I'll try and bowl on here. It should work with a new ball. So it's just put it in like that. See how it just skids yeah, yeah, straight yeah. on. The flight is more important than the spin, in right. my opinion. Because um, if the ball's going dead straight through the air, even if it spins off the ground, the batsman can line it up and then hit it. Yep. If the ball's constantly moving or arcing through the air, just like when Jimmy Anson swings it or Singbola nips it, if the ball's actually moving as it's coming towards you laterally, mm -hmm. it, you can't set yourself up as easily. So the harder you spin it, the more the ball floats away. Imran Fahad with that uh, massive spinner uh, to the left-hander that got him out. It drifted towards the leg side, um, ended up pitching, I mean, it really drifted and probably pitched six inches outside leg stump and then just absolutely fizzed off the surface and hit the top of off. Yep. And trust me, there was no one more surprised than me. <laughs> um, obviously, I wanted to see how much, it, how much the pitch had spin, mm -hmm. uh, but for it to actually work like that, um, it, was, it was the perfect ball. There's, I, I don't think anyone... Is, is that your perfect delivery? That because is... it was the third ball in my spell, unless the batsman had said, I'm going to sweep as soon as I see it yep. outside leg stump, it would have got anyone in the world out, I, I reckon. Any left-hander. Um, yeah, the only way it would have saved had they been sweeping. But even then, I reckon if they'd swept it, it was a good ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's, you can probably see my face afterwards. I'm absolutely shocked by the whole thing. Um, we wouldn't want to repeat uh, this Wednesday, yeah. if possible. Yeah, I'd like to as well. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs>